We are following breaking news right now of a large and growing wildfire in Loveland that is forcing people out of their homes at this hour. In fact, in the last hour since we have spoken with you, there have been more people put on a pre evacuation or a voluntary evacuation notice. So take a look at this. This is where the wildfire is burning. It is just north of Highway 34, just west of the dam store. It is called the Alexander Mountain Fire. It is happening in that area of Alexander Mountain. US 34 in this area is closed. People in that area are asking you to stay off the highway if you don't have to evacuate to let the emergency workers and the first responders through as numerous firefighters from all around the area are rushing out to this fire. This is some of the smoke that the fire is putting off. We had thought at one point recently the fire was going to be more than 800 acres. However, it has been remapped by the U.S. Forest Service. They say it's now at about 250 acres, but bottom line here, it's not necessarily the size. It is the fact that the fire continues to grow in a windy area with some dry and rugged terrain. It's going to make things very difficult for firefighters. What you're seeing here are new pictures of the big smoke plume that is being put off because of this fire. And again, it is forcing evacuations. So let's go ahead and take a look at where people have to evacuate from their homes. Hopefully by this point, the fire is about two hours old. They have already done this. This is Drake to the dam store. This is an area along Highway 34. It includes Storm Mountain and Palisade Mountain. Again, these people have to get out of their homes. It could potentially be a life or death situation here because of how the fire is growing. There are voluntary evacuation orders right now where people are being told you can go ahead and leave, but at the very least, get your essentials ready and get ready to get out of your home in case the fire were to blow up even more. This is people off County Road 86. This is north of Rustic, people off Glade Highway from Highway 34 north to Indian Creek and people off County Road 18. This is going from County Road 31 to 29. Again, we'll take a look at the Alexander fire that has grown to at least 250 acres in this area. Highway 34 is closed. Again, Highway 29 and 43 right here. Again, people who are in this area that need to get out. The highway will be open for them, but for others, you're being asked to stay out of that area. There are evacuation centers. There are two of them right now. One is going to be at Namaqua Elementary School that is in Loveland. Another is up at Estes Park at the Estes Park Events Complex. Also, the ranch in Loveland is open for animals if you have to evacuate with livestock or other animals as well. You're looking at new pictures of the fire. It has grown significantly in the last couple of hours since it started. Again, right now it is thought to be about 250 acres. It is forcing people out of their homes. This area is technically, I just checked the drought monitor, in a drought area. It is very dry, and as you can tell by the pictures in the video right here. It is steep. It is rugged. It is going to be a battle for firefighters, especially in this 90 plus degree heat. They have air resources on the way. Not sure if they're able to drop any water on there just yet, but certainly there is a plane up that is helping map the fire for firefighters on the ground and give them a better idea of exactly what they are dealing with. The smoke plume here, it is huge. You can see it from Boulder. We talked with Fox 31's Jim Hooley a short time ago. He talked about the wind up there and just how dry it is. Jim certainly knows the fire conditions and the drought conditions in this state as well as anyone. You can also see that fire from a number of other areas, including parts of Denver here. Sky Fox is getting ready to take off right now. Hopefully within the next 20 to 30 minutes, they'll be closer to the fire, be able to give us a better idea of exactly what is going on. These pictures are from people who live in the area. You can see there is definitely a lot of smoke, some thick, dark smoke and flames as well as that fire shoots up on top of those trees right there. And it appears right now that the wind is coming somewhat direction out of the west, pushing the fire down the mountain to the east. And that is why people are being forced out of their homes just as a precaution as this fire continues to grow. So again, this is the Alexander Mountain fire. It started about two hours ago, maybe two and a half. It's up to at least 250 acres. You can see get a better idea of it right here. These are the areas where people have to evacuate at this hour. Again, this is where they are. This is Drake to the dam store along Highway 34. The big parts here, Storm Mountain and Palisade Mountain. This is where people have to evacuate. There are some neighborhoods and some mountain homes all in that red area right there. You can see it is growing. The areas that are in yellow there just off to the east. This is where they concern that the fire, if they can't get it under control, where it potentially could jump to. This is where people are being told you can evacuate evacuate now or at the very least get your essentials, get your go bags ready to go and potentially get ready to get out there. So again, the fire forcing evacuations right there. You can see now they've gone south of US 34 as well. There are some lakes and reservoirs in this area. That's going to be a big help once they're able to get some helicopters up there to do some of the water drops. They have other air resources again on the way right now.